So what do you call yourself? Antonio Montana. And you? What you call yourself? It's the home of the Suns here in Phoenix, Arizona. As 2K Sports brings you today's live action from the U.S. Airways Center. The starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. And as we take a look here at Nate Robinson, guys, what's your take? Well, Robinson is a constant threat to heat up in a hurry, Kevin. He's one of those guys who has unlimited confidence, even when it's not quite warranted. He just gets out there, and he thinks he's going to make every shot, and he races around the floor and creates havoc. Great guy to have coming off your bench. He's ideal to have coming off your bench. Instant energy. He'll do anything he needs to do to win, to help you win. Nate's competitive, and he's a terrific athlete. If he's not contributing with points, he'll be contributing with cheering. You got to love that about him. That enthusiasm is contagious. Last outing for Phoenix, they won that game against the Spurs in San Antonio. Feeds it to Bledsoe. Bledsoe gets the screen from Mann. And Fry kicks to Plumley. Bledsoe outside. The pass to Fry. One fifty-seven left here in the first quarter. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I was able to talk with Jeff Hornacek for a moment. He told me that he's looking forward to this matchup. Their first look at this team so far this season. He said they'll look to play up defensively. As usual, their length and shot blocking a great deterrent inside. Kevin? Doris, thank you. It'll be interesting to see how that defensive mindset serves them here in the first half. Yeah, it will be, Kevin, because if they come out uh, with the right frame of mind and they don't have much success early, you know, the game plan's going to have to change in a big hurry. And even so, Steve, I think the defensive approach Doris talked about is exactly the one they should employ. Michael Beasley, he's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. Here is Miller. There's 138 left in the first quarter. And while it wasn't the biggest win streak of the season, the Nuggets did have a pretty good rampage of their own from the end of February into March. And because it happened when the Heat were doing what they were doing, the Nuggets kind of flew under the radar. Kevin, just enough presence to bother that three-point attempt there. Well, for a guy that shoots like he does, I mean, I'd say that is an easy look. And Fry kicks to Green. There's three-pointers off the mark. Well, as you said, the Nuggets put together their big 15-game winning streak. But, you know, Steve, since it happened, when the Heat rattled off their big push, nobody really even seemed to notice. <laughs> That's right. It might have worked out in their favor anyway, Kevin, because... You know, that win streak really kind of put them into high gear and allowed them to climb into the third spot in the West. Probably was nice not having the media focused on them and wanting to talk to them every day about what was happening in the Western Conference. And the Nuggets with some changes. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Kenneth Fareed comes in for Gallinari. And Wilson Chandler's subbed in for Jordan Hamilton. Suns trail by eight. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Mann. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Lawson's got his third rebound on the night. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent, but hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. It has taken them no time to build this lead up on the, the strength of a, a great first quarter offensively. And they need to continue to put pressure on the defense and try to really run away with this one from here. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. For Phoenix, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. Well, guys, you go back to last season, and this is a team that hit just 74% of its free throws. I know they'd like to see that number go up. Good on both. Here's Lawson. Seven points in the game. 
Dixon in the post. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The Nuggets have had two chances at the line already, making them both. He misses the free throw. And the Suns making a change here. Second free throw, good. Here's Bledsoe. Can hit. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Denver on top, up by 10. 2K Sports, back in a moment here from the U.S. Airways Center. Make sure to pick up a copy of 2K Sports Magazine. B, the cover athlete. A breakout talent making his mark in the NBA. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And from what we've been watching, guys, with the Nuggets, uh, what are you seeing out there? And I'm just so impressed with the long-range shooting. Yeah, they have really lit it up from outside. Yeah, the sharp shooting from deep, a big part of their lead, and they're playing with confidence and shooting it well. Well, coming off his impressive showing in the 2012 playoffs last season, really a breakout season for the dynamic Eric Bledsoe. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. Wilson Chandler out there with Kenneth Fareed. Then it's Nate Robinson. Then it's Lawson. And it's Hickson in at the five, patrolling the paint. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. And Clark, going back to Bledsoe, we knew how tough he could be at the defensive end of the floor, but his progress offensively. You know, Steve, I thought that really turned a lot of heads of GMs around the NBA when he was taking the place of the injured Chris Paul. Yeah, early in his career, you could back off him defensively. He didn't have a lot of confidence in his shot, but he improved there, and he's such an amazing athlete that he has the ability to, to play make, to get into the paint and create havoc for the defense. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Hard work on the glass once again, fellas. They put a lot of effort into their rebound. Well, you get more rebounds, you get more possessions, more shots at the hoop, and oftentimes that decides the game. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, guys, B in the last outing against the Spurs made a big difference. He dropped in 15 points, and in addition to his scoring, he also came away with a season high for rebounds. This was a big win for him and his team as they snap a losing streak with that win, guys. Doris, thank you. Well, guys, you know, he made play after play in that game. Well, as he often does, Kevin, and we'll see. Maybe he'll explode again tonight because the momentum that he took away from that game, he's got to be feeling confident. Well, I don't know if it'll carry over, but clearly the fact that you have a high-level performance in your recent memory bank has to do you some good. And like you said, Steve, we'll find out tonight whether it continues. Shot, shot, shot. Board, Kenneth Fareed grabs the board. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Well, you know, for the Suns, it's been a hard fall, guys. As recently as 2010, they played in the conference finals last season, had the fourth worst record in the NBA, and they're not exactly stacked with young talent. The uh, rise back to the top is going to be slow and long. Little touch of class there, guys. He ended up play with the finger roll. A different look for Denver. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Randolph comes in for Kenneth Faree. And it's going Ari in for Wilson Chandler. He hits Brown with the drive. And it's Denver with the rebound. Well, you talked about the troubles of the Suns, Clark. And for so long, one of the elite offensive ball clubs in the NBA. Then, Steve, last season, they were second to last in scoring efficiency. Well, let's see. What happened last year? Oh, oh yeah, Steve Nash left. Yeah, I think that might have something to do with it, Kevin. Look, this is just a rebuilding mode for Phoenix, and it happens to everybody. 
uh, the end of one great era and hopefully the start of a new one, but it's going to take a few years to get this thing rolling. Miller. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. You know, guys, it's amazing, but last season Andre Miller said he hopes to play until he's 40 years old. And not many players have been able to accomplish that feat. But I think he's got a really good chance to do it with his style of play. He's a low to the ground player, uses guile, strength, and savvy to get it done. And somehow he never is hurt or misses games. He's been remarkably durable throughout his career. And Andre Miller right now, 37 years of age. I think back in 1976 is when he's born, to be quite exact. And last January became the eighth player in NBA history. Steve to tally. 15,000 points, over 7,500 assists. Incredible career for Miller, still going at it. Terrific kind of old school point guard. I think he's the best lob passer in the game. He's also got a, a good low post game. Just really crafty and unbelievable feel for the game. Here's Mann. No good off the front iron. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in control of this game. Yeah, they have not let their guard down one bit in the paint. I really like the fact that he's getting the touches he needs here after not scoring a single point in that first quarter. Some changes for Phoenix. Plumley comes in for Cortat, and it's Malcolm Lee in for Gerald Green. Round the pass to Beasley. B to stop the run, and it goes. That's good. While we're thinking about him, did you just catch his comments at the press conference after their last game? He's clearly a big picture guy. I mean, it isn't really what he's done, but what the team has done. It's all about wins with this kid, and you have to respect that. He's a competitor, no doubt about that. I mean, he doesn't go out and try to make friends or make highlights. He just comes in with one agenda, and that's just to win the basketball game every night. Jordan Hamilton's checked in for the Nuggets. Here's Foy. No good. So Phoenix will take it the other way. This the first chance to take a look at the Nuggets this season. And this is a big game, guys, today because these teams will see each other three more times down the road. And this one kind of sets the tone for the season series. Here the step back. And again, Denver no good. Suns trail by 15. Here's Mann. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. I think Steve nailed it moments ago, Clark, talking about, you know, these series of three, four games between these two teams during the year, and eventually they'll know each other very well. But as we see now, the slate between them is clean. And being that it is their first meeting, Kevin, I'm actually anxious and curious to see what's changed in terms of how they come at each other compared to last season. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Guys, JaVale McGee, so much promise there. Teammate Andre Miller said, quote, he's starting to play the way we need him to. There's less of those scratch your head moments and more of those now that's what I'm talking about moments. He can be a dominant player if given a chance. I think he's headed in a good direction. Guys, the talent is there. And with his length and athleticism, he has all the tools. Doris, thank you. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Nuggets. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. Well, the other thing I like is defensively, they're causing turnovers, and that's allowing them to get into transition. Lee no good on the free throw. Some thought the Nuggets might be a dark horse team to get to the Western Conference Finals last season, but they didn't even get out of the first round. They lost to the Warriors, a very good Warriors team in six games. Foy dishes to Randolph. Foy defended by Goodwin. Four on the shot clock. A three ball. And it's Foy missing. Suns trail by 14. And going back to that series, Clark, I think it was easily one of the most exciting series in the first round, but the Nuggets knew they would have an uphill battle when they dropped game two at home. Now, Steve, they looked like they missed Gallinari in some of those games, obviously. Well, I think anytime you're down a three-point shooter, it makes it very difficult, particularly in the playoffs when teams can sit back and pack the paint. So I, I thought that was what that series showed, is that in the postseason, the best three-point shooting team often has a big advantage, and, and the Warriors clearly were much better from the beyond the arc. Feeds to Goodwin. Passes it to Fry. 
He's against Randolph. The jump hook, no good from Fry. He's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. Wasted no time on that one. Hamilton's got six points. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. That is good. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, I mean, they need to start putting some bodies on bodies. Be physical. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. That's foul number two for him. Mm, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. And so here's Denver. Lawson drives in, plays it up, and banks it in. Nine points in the game so far. And that kind of power move has become a trademark for him. One second left, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far hasn't been close. Nuggets lead by 19. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. Now, presented by Sprint. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports as the NBA season wraps up. Let's get into the halftime report. For Denver, they have the lead against Phoenix. Starting off on the right foot this young season, they're definitely playing well. And if you like scoring, you love their first half of basketball. They're putting up points, doing it rapidly in a variety of ways. It's hard to slow them down. the Suns they've been struggling a bit missed free throws all too common thus far you have to be able to punish a team for fouling you that'll be it for the halftime report the second half is coming right up hope to see you next time the sprint halftime report presented by sprint welcome back everybody third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game some fantastic numbers for Robinson. Ten points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. From the defenders, have that in the back of their minds now, too, so they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. Man, he's in a point guard. Markeith Morris and Marcin Gortat are down low. Beasley out there with Brown. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department, too, Clark. Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it, but that's the way it should be. You should feel that you've competed when you do that work inside. Full 24-second shot clock. Lawson kicks to Robinson. On the wing, Chandler. Back to Robinson. Just five on the clock. Well, Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Hickson with the bucket. Hickson's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Nuggets. Suns trail by 21. Without question, last season was the best of J.J. Hickson's career. A new field goal high in terms of percentage, and his rebound rate went off the charts. Played his way into a nice contract, too. Here's Morris, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It goes on Kenneth Fareed. And looking back for J.J. Hickson, this is a player who was waived back in 2012 by the Kings. Yeah, he's bounced around a little bit, but I, I thought had an excellent season in Portland last year and has solidified his position in this league. He's a, an active, energetic big man. The Nuggets leading by 19 points. Lawson outside. Deep two from Robinson. That is in there. Lawson with the assist. Lawson's got three assists tonight. It's time now to look at the NBA's top shooting teams from a season ago. 
Number five, the Nuggets. Well, I thought, Kevin, they had great productivity from their shooters last year. The guys they were counting on to knock down a high percentage of their shots, they did that. And they hope to see those same kinds of numbers this year. The feed now to Brown. Now the dish to Morris. The pass to Mann. And that's good for two. B's got 12 points in the game. Well, you look at B. Not sure if you guys noticed on the way in, Nike already put him up center stage on a billboard. Well, the Make It Count ad campaign seems to have him at the center of it. He certainly made it count in the NBA so far. Yeah, well said. Yeah, well, right. he, he's earned this endorsement, that's for sure. I mean, Nike is getting their money's worth from this guy. He's big time. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Watson outside. And it's blocked by Portzelt. Fast break. Here come the Suns. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. 14 points for B. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Watson outside. And it's blocked by Morris. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Brown gets a screen from Mann. And it's Brown missing. You know, there was a time when the Suns were an up-and-down team. They'd push the tempo and do everything they could to get layups and shoot the three. Those days are history now. They're just not a very good shooting team from outside anymore. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens. Especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. Morris passes to Mann. Not enough on that one as it misses. Denver leading by 19. And Chandler, here we go. That's good. Chandler's got four this quarter. Well, Clark, you said the, the Suns didn't shoot the ball well from distance. They would end up 28th in the NBA when it came to the deep ball, Steve, making just under a third of their tries. Well, of course, a lot of that has to do with the departure of Steve Nash. Uh, they didn't have somebody creating those easy looks. Remember, they also were without Channing Fry last year, one of their best three-point shooters who had to sit out the year uh, with the heart issue. And Lawson, here we go. Kicks it to Hickson. That is in there. Lawson with the assist. Lawson's got his fifth assist in this one. And their field goal percentage continues to climb. They've really shot the ball well here today so far. Yeah, and it's all about quality shot selection, smart shot selection. They've been very patient on offense. And stolen by Lawson. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Lawson's got 11 points. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for the Nuggets. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. The other thing they're doing, guys, is forcing turnovers and then creating points offensively as a result. Lock at six. Stolen by Fareed. Here's Chandler. And it's blocked by Brown. Here's Mann. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. You know, it's pretty hard not to ask the question after the Nuggets were shot. bounced in the first round of the playoffs if, in fact, they were better constructed for the regular season than the playoffs. You know, continuing to talk about the Nuggets, it is a fair question to ask because this group, Steve, has been so successful in the regular season but has yet to make a big splash in the postseason. Yeah, I think they've advanced out of the first round one time in the last nine seasons. So, I, you know, I think it's a fair question, Kevin. I, I think you can win playing fast, but you have to have balance. Look at the Spurs last year. They played a very high tempo, uh, but they played excellent defense as well. You've got to have some kind of a balance to win in the postseason. I thought he rushed it a little bit, guys, because he had a clean look, just lost his focus. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. B's got 18 points in the game. Yeah, beautiful drive there, going right around the bigger man. Robinson dishes to Gallinari. McGee. Outside Robinson. Just five to shoot. 
It's stolen by Dragic. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Dragic is running. He passes to man. It's Beasley on the wing. Outside Dragic. He dishes it to Brown. Pass to Fry. With one on the clock. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Nuggets ahead, up 19. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. gains momentum. Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs get the road to do battle with the Philadelphia 76ers next Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. The Nuggets leading by 19. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So on the floor for Denver. Gallo and Fareed at the forwards. Nate Robinson is out there with Andre Miller. And it's McGee in at the center filling out the middle. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. He's not the guy you want to leave open on the perimeter. You've got to stay attached to him. And it's Bledsoe off the drive. Dishes it to Goodwin. Back to Bledsoe. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Mann. The Suns need to get a shot off. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That's his first personal foul. At the line for your Suns, Channing Bly. At the line for two. Free throw, good. He dropped. They're locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not a miss yet. And they're going to have to continue that pace, Clark, because they're down, and anytime you're losing, you've got to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Tipped away. And here's the break. Man passes to Bledsoe. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Yeah, he put himself in great position to finish that break off, guys. Yep, right to the rack. Miller sets a screen for Robinson. He feeds it to Miller. Get the shot. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Nuggets lead by 20. You know, Kevin, he never gives up on a play. That's what I love about him. He just is one of those guys who will bring effort and energy the entire 48 minutes. And I also can't get over how much energy he expends rebounding the basketball. He goes all out on the boards every single night. Denver making a switch here. Chandler's checked in. Blunso kicks to good. Now the pass to man. Five to shoot. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. What a night for B. He has 18 points, and four of his points have come at the foul line. He's made the most of those opportunities. Which can't be undervalued, Clark. So many times a game can come down to which team wins the free throw battle. That free throw, no good. Markeith Morris is checked in for Phoenix. Good on the second free throw. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. Bledsoe against Robinson. Pass to Chandler. Back to Robinson. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Nuggets. They'll be off next to Utah for a meeting with the Jams. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. I'm really looking forward to see how the Lakers fare in that one. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. 
Bledsoe kicks to Morris. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. As long as they keep spraying them from deep, we're going to have ourselves one exciting finish. Well, it took them a while, but they're finally starting to get some rhythm offensively on the outside. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. That's his fourth foul of the contest. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Gorchak with the steal. We've just seen them make mistakes on back-to-back -back trips, but those turnovers could have been avoided. Careless mistakes. Absolutely, Doug. They've got to have a tighter handle on the ball. Miller with the ball. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Well, they were getting run ragged out there. Good time for a timeout. Maybe it was even too late, but this club has to regroup now. Well, I tell you what, it wasn't pretty, and they definitely needed to take a minute to talk things over. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Yes, Kevin. Brian Shaw had some words for his team in that last timeout. He was propping his guys up with their defensive pressure, saying, listen, the pressure you put on them has been fantastic. Keep pestering them, keep forcing turnovers, and we'll be in a great position to win this one. And the Suns making a change here. Rounds checked in. Nuggets on D. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Let's it go with a three. They get it back. And Gorchak kicks to Brown. Kenneth Fareed pulls it in. Fareed's got five rebounds tonight. Boy, they've really won the battle of the boards in this one, Kevin. Robinson off a pick for Miller. Robinson goes in and checked it by Morris. They recover it. Suns trail by 16. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Back to Beasley. Shot clock at six. Here's Gorchak. Shot is off, and it's Denver the other way. Miller outside. Chandler goes in. He kicks to Fareed. Robinson against Brown. Back to Chandler. And it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. Ty Lawson is checked in for Andre Miller. Here's Robinson. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. For Phoenix, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Feeds the Morris. The dish to Gortat. Double clutches. He takes it up and lays it in. Gortat's got four points in the quarter. Things finally starting to come together for them. The deficit still pretty big, but at least they're taking steps in the right direction. Yeah, I think they're doing all they can do. Playing tough D, getting stopped, and then taking good care of the basketball at the other end. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Maybe a low percentage pass, but it, it still nearly got through. I like it, though. I mean, it's an aggressive play. Heads up defending the deflected away. Now Hickson. And Lawson, here we go. Fareed. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And you're right, the ability to get the rebound, a big help here. Always a big help. And because of that effort, they're going to win going away. Well, when he came out of college, the one thing he knew with Kenneth Fareed was he was going to give you a lot of hustle. Great rebounder at Moorhead State. And he brought that into the league with him. He, he, he attacks the ball. He attacks the glass. Plays hard on every possession. Well, that's just the kind of player he is. It's, it's in his nature. He, he can't help but hustle after missed shots, and he's willing to battle for rebounds and loose balls with anybody. Uh, there's no backing down with Fareed. Brown, good. Boy, if they could have had this kind of run earlier in the game, it might have made a big difference. You know, I think a big reason behind the run, Steve, is that they're not getting pressured as much by the defense now that the game's all but finished. 
Lawson outside. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. That's not what they needed there, that's for sure. Big group substitution here for Denver. Anthony Randolph, he's checked in for Hickson. Arthur comes in for Kenneth Fareed. Jordan Hamilton's checked in for Wilson Chandler. And it's Foy in for Nate Robinson. The nine-foot shot. Second chance shot. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Miller outside. There's 18 seconds left in the game. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Nuggets lead by 12. Well, guys, tonight they came in here and really dictated the terms of the engagement, which is very difficult to do as the visitors. You're right. That's not usually the way things work in the NBA. It's a great win, and no question, it's going to be a happy plane ride out of here. And so it's Denver taking care of business in this one. How much to be critical of with this win, Clark? Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, Kevin Harlan saying see you next time. Don't know if you've seen it yet, but you're on the cover of yet another magazine. What's it like to see yourself getting such worldwide recognition at this stage in your career? It's a real honor, man. I've been dreaming about playing in the NBA and being on magazine covers since I was a little kid. And now to see myself on another one is pretty amazing. It's the kind of thing I can look back on one day and be proud of, that's for sure. For now, I'll enjoy it some, but I can't let myself get too caught up in that kind of thing, you feel me? The team in this season are way too important for that.